All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy JD. I hope you've all had a great day. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the Snow White Fallout controversy because it seems just to go on and on and on. As I'm sure many of you are aware of the current situation Disney is facing, the cast leak was everywhere on social media and in true Disney fashion, the live action remake they're creating for the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs resemble represent nothing to do with the original story who could have seen that one coming snow white in the film is no longer actually white all the dwarves have been recast bar one and we have full grown male and females playing the roles and they will actually no longer be called dwarves but magical creatures because apparently you know the thought process is using dwarves in a story about dwarves and calling them dwarves would be deemed offensive all very progressive but piers morgan has hosted a fiery debate on his show as usual between an absolute legend hornswoggle or dylan mosel who is actually a dwarf i'm sure many of you know who he is provided so many funny memories in the world of wrestling and a political commentator that goes by the name of james Barr. now dylan mosel or hornswoggle is actually against dwarfs being recast in films meant for dwarfs and james Barr is all for this new progressive way of thinking although throughout the whole debate he doesn't actually really know what he's talking about or thinking about now we're going to be reacting to the whole debate because it's a very long one and so much is being said i don't normally sit down and react to a whole video because i just find it a little bit lazy but if we did it in the normal format it just wouldn't make a lot of sense so before we carry on with this video ladies and gentlemen if you could make sure to leave a like rating if you're new hit that big red subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video share this video and let's just uh get into this woke hypocrisy shall we it's going to be a load of fun Dylan. I've got to say, I, I was very curious when I saw what Peter Dinklage came out and said, because I did wonder who appointed him the head of the Dwarf Actor community. And it turns out nobody did other than him. And the people who it seems to me have really suffered in all this are the six Dwarf actors who would have expected to have roles in this remake in a massive Hollywood blockbuster who are now not going to have that experience, all the money, all the fame that may have come with that. So for those of you that don't know, Peter Dinklage, I believe, came out either it was last year or the year before talking about a Disney casting a Latino Snow White. And he said things like, I was quite taken aback when they casted a Latino Snow White, but still were reinforcing stereotypes about dwarfs living in caves, etc, etc. He called them progressive in one way, uh, but not the other. So after Peter Dinklage's words, according to Piers Morgan, ever since then, there's been this whole movement of not trying to reinforce stereotypes about dwarves being a certain way within films, which is why we are now seeing this whole controversy surrounding Snow White and, you know, them relabeling them as magical creatures, etc, etc. What is your response to that? So it's not a progression at all to me. My issue with it is exactly what you said. There are actors, dwarf actors, that live, that, that dream to be in a major motion picture such as this Disney remake. And now, because Peter Dinklage uh, said what he said last year, now it's taken away. And it's taken away because of quote unquote progression and all that. And that's, it's not, it's not really, it's not right because these are roles made for actors of my stature, roles right. that aren't ever really given. I can't go out for the Harrison Ford or the George Clooney roles because that's not for me. Yeah, so just imagine that, right? You're a dwarf, you want to, say, be in the Snow White film. Okay, you want to be in that film, but because of all this woke nonsense going on and we can't offend people because of certain terminologies and Peter Dinklage's words, you can't be a dwarf any longer. It has to be full-grown adults, men and women, and it has to be re renamed uh, Magical Creatures. You know, you're trying to do something, apparently, in your view, positive for a certain uh, demographic community whilst hindering them at the very same time. Now, dwarves can't get parts in things like Snow White because, oh, it's very controversial and we can't have dwarves actually being dwarves even though the story is about dwarves. I I'm starting to sound crazy. These dwarf roles are for people of my stature. Right. And now exactly. it's taken away. It it I don't feel that's right. And not only that, but now think about the additional stunt actors or body doubles or that. Now you're talking multiple actors right. of my stature that don't get these major roles. And why? What's the real, what's the reasoning? Because Wokeness. we're supposed to be progressive and we're supposed to just not view them as that? Well, you know the these irony. These heroes. The all irony. of these dwarves, yeah. all of, the, all of the... these dwarves took care of Snow White. 
Right. They all had characteristics, separate characteristics. Exactly. The film, as I've said, the story is about Snow White, the dwarves, and the dwarves all having separate personalities, characteristics, and looking after Snow White, Snow White and it all comes to a, a dramatic end, right? Uh, to remove that, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. You're literally rewriting the story. I mean, Disney like to do that anyway, but for people like us, we look at this and think, well, you're getting rid of one of the main components of something that made a story what it is, and again, for what? They weren't these cave-dwelling monsters that, that that people speak of. It's it's They all had seven different characteristics mm. for seven different actors that from my community and i don't i don't feel it's right that they got taken i taken completely away from us. and utterly agree with you and the irony is that they profess these progressives to want to do this to protect you right they protect dwarf <laughs> actors from being you know <laughs> somehow smeared Doesn't but you don't feel sense. that way at all peter peter dinklage spoke up about this and that was my issue he had in the past no issue cashing checks that were made for dwarf roles like Elf and all of that. Exactly. He played, uh, what was it, Tyrion Lannister in Game of Thrones. And he was all okay with taking the dwarf jokes in Game of Thrones. You know, people would uh, disrespect him, call him certain names in the series, in the seasons. And he had no issue then. Suddenly now that's all over with, it, it's suddenly an issue. He blew away the barriers when he did his, his roles that weren't necessarily made for a dwarf. But the elf role was made for a dwarf. Mm. That check cleared just fine. So now that he's gone and done that, the progression of dwarf actors, he's, he, he, it just doesn't, it doesn't sit right with me. No, I can, that this guy who is yeah. exactly what you said, what, what gave him the voice for all of our community? Yeah. Why? Self -entitled. I was honest. I think a complete, a complete hypocrite. Horn. Let me bring James. Let me bring James back in. So when James, Piers Morgan is agreeing with you. I think you need to be concerned. I'll say that for the. So you're telling the dwarf out to what he should feel. Having not, literally, hang on. And having sorry, having literally say. just lectured me about speaking for someone in the dwarf community, Warwick Davis. You now accuse you a can dwarf. You see the emotion. That's no, not what I said. I said that if anyone, if you're siding with anyone, you've got to worry. Right. What I'd like to say actually is that I kind of mostly agree with what you're no, saying. No, no. Now you're. Sir, that's just taking a pot shot there. No, by I, saying, it, oh, yeah, it is Piers absolutely Morgan taking a pot shot. Me. But I do agree with what you're saying. <laughs> Where does Piers Morgan find these people? I honestly don't understand. You know, I know he does it for entertainment aspects, but people like this who react in a very emotional way, just, I don't know, I find it all very cringy. But obviously, this is a classic white liberal who's going to stick up for marginalized people, even though, you know, many of them haven't said, oh, we are marginalized, we are disrespected, and they're going to go about and enforce different... Uh, rules and universal laws that actually hinder them. But I, I can only speak from my experience, and as a gay man, I know that growing... So, sorry for pausing it there, but I don't understand, again, as I said in the intro, what being gay has got to do with this whole situation going on right now. It's like, oh, I'm a victim, so, you know, I must speak up about <laughs> victim mentality, man. Up, I witnessed gay people being villains in movies when I was... Seven seeing. dwarves aren't villains! And that I think stereotypes are really important to What stereotypes do you think and they actually, represent? actually, in the universe of Snow White, wouldn't it be better I don't feel, if dwarves I don't feel are... This, is a, this I, isn't a part of this, about the stereotype. Right. This is about roles that were, that were made for people such a, of my stature that exactly. don't this just have the make chance sense. to go out for other roles normally. But you, James so Barr, why you, you taking... want to stop Dylan I am getting not... a role in a Hollywood Piers, film. I am not going to get into an attack on a dwarf. You don't want a dwarf actor to no, land a role I do, playing actually. a dwarf part. Listen, a why? dwarf can play a dwarf part, but I think it's important to change narratives that don't fit in today's society. And really, it Which might is be that better... Narrative? It might be better What's the, if dwarves sir, just exist sir, in normal me. roles everywhere What's, because they do exist. What was in so bad life? about the way dwarves were depicted in Snow White? Have I missed something? Well, that, listen, I'm not <laughs> here to talk that's about. What I, that's what I'm kind of wondering. Well, 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 I don't well, represent well, Disney, but I'm just saying I think I see their point of view. What's their point? No, you don't see their point of view. You don't. You just think, oh, progressive, progressive, progression, progression. You just side with anything. If they did something else in the name of progression, you'd side with it. You don't really think for yourself. You just go along with what other people are telling you. And that's a classic thing with liberals. They don't actually think for themselves they just do and say what others are also telling them to say oh it's progression so it must all be good disney are saying it's progression
What was so bad about the depiction of the wolf? Why are you What's so upset you? about a movie changing with the times and moving forward? Because I think, that, honestly, with is great respect... Really, there is real news we could be great, discussing. No, but this is real... See, this doesn't make sense. And, you know, he is, OK, he's right in some aspect, but you've agreed to come on the show to talk about this issue. They've sent you an invitation and you thought, yeah, I'll come on the show, I'll get paid. Now you're complaining about them talking about this issue. Still news if you're a dwarf actor who are now out of work because of virtue signaling idiots. But you're just who using think that this... everything has to be rewritten you are just to be using inclusive. Dylan as a cheap when in shot. fact it's not inclusive at all. No, you're using Dylan as a cheap shot to attack a wokey. That's what's I don't think happening. Dylan feels I'm using him as a cheap shot. And what I would say about the wokey thing is this: I have spent the last year listening to people tell me only gay actors should play gay parts. Hmm. Only Welsh actors, and Michael Sheen, should play Welsh characters, and so on and so on I, and so on. A but the moment we have dwarf roles, which are the most famous dwarf roles in Hollywood history, then the only people apparently who can't play them are dwarf actors. It dwarf and I see there it's a cartoon stinking so me, hypocrisy. It has not changed. It was a cartoon. Those weren't actually dwarfs in the movie. They were drawn, OK? So, firstly... They were drawn as absolute, dwarfs. No, that is... But it's a story about dwarfs, called dwarfs, dwarfs. Well, they it's shouldn't be called that. They should be called... They shouldn't be called dwarfs. No, they should be called people with they dwarfism. They shouldn't be called... People with dwarf is... So this is the film now. It's not even Snow White to begin with, but it's going to be called Snow White and the Seven People with Dwarfism. What's wrong with being they called, be dwarfs? called dwarfs? Nothing, but that's not the correct That's the story. Term. Dylan, the story apparently you should, you're not allowed to call yourself a dwarf. Apparently, Dylan, you're not allowed to call yourself... I just love how this dude, this liberal, is trying to lecture a dwarf who has played dwarf characters. It's really the most hypocritical thing. Somebody is speaking up against an apparent issue, which really, let's be honest, doesn't exist, to a dwarf who plays dwarf <laughs> dwarf roles. Ah. Dwarfs, apparently. I would love to hear, what should I call myself, sir? I think you should call yourself whatever you feel comfortable with, but as a person... He calls himself a dwarf. A dwarf. That's, that's a great. A dwarf. Then. Good yeah. for you. I'm happy. So, that's... so now, but now, sir, <laughs> let me, let me, let me pause So that. embarrassing for this guy. So we, it, it shouldn't be called Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It Listen, just be I do not want to get cancelled so because I saying... think your point of view is more important than mine right now. But what I'm annoyed about is Piers trying Look to be shot <laughs> at someone that believes <laughs> in society <laughs> moving forward. Yeah, I'm actually, because just, really, if I'm actually exposing the hypocrisy <laughs> of not... the woke mentality of only gay people can play gay parts, only trans actors can play trans parts, and so I... on and so on and so on. I think we right would get to, the to point, a place where right Right to the point, Snow White role. and the Seven Dwarves has to be cancelled because you're not allowed to have dwarf You actors. should be happy, Piers, because it means that now you can play your dream role of Grumpy. What a joke that was. What a joke that was. I loved all the uh, dwarves in that movie. They were great. You'd, Let sorry, me ask now you, Now you're being a hypocrite. Guys, You'd love to play Grumpy, but no, you're no, no, taking no, no, a role no. away from a dwarf The issue actor. at hand... No, I would play a fully grown grump, by quite take, happily. By taking away a role from a Let dwarf. me ask you, Dylan, uh, about the Hugh Grant playing an Oompa Loompa, because, again, it seems to me... Oh, we've got a clip of him playing an Oompa Loompa. Let's have a look at this. Oh, am I getting it copyrighted for this? Now, they use CGI there, Dylan, to effectively make him into an Oompa Loompa dwarf. So now... What do you feel about that? Yes, sir. So now... Now we're not only using CGI and spending extra money and, and funding... Yeah, why not just cast a dwarf? ...when we could just cast dwarves in that role. Mm. Whether it be one dwarf or multiple, that, like they have been in the past, now you're taking at least one role away mm. or multiple roles away for Oompa Progression, Loompa right, progression. That, that's what they were in the past. And, and why, again, I go back to my, my, my stance on these roles, roles in Hollywood in general, are very hard for people of my community to yeah. get besides the elf and the leprechaun and this mm. and that. So why are they being taken from my community? That's my issue here. Well, it's you know why, you know why, Dylan? You know why? Because people like James here, they think it's progressive and inclusive. No, when see, in fact, it's regressive. That, not my words, it's actually. regressive it and exclusive. No, yeah, they may not be your words, my friends, but it's how you act, okay? And Piers Morgan, literally just says the sentence I have been using for so long now. You know, when they say it's inclusion, it's not inclusion, it's all about exclusion. Even if, you know, you're the demographic that they're claiming to protect, they will still exclude you. Pierce, I will, I, I will, I will agree with the mindset of 
it's not right. Uh, I don't know. James James seems to be uh, in in partial agreement with me on the dwarf actors and the roles with uh, that that these should be. But I, I don't on the other stuff. I can't speak on that. Obviously, it's that's I'm focused fully on the dwarf community. Doesn't want to get really canceled. losing roles in these films. Yeah, I think James starts with James all the starts SAG to... strikes, with all the with all the writer strikes. Yeah, well, and this the is, actor I, agree, strikes, I do agree with you, important. and I think all it, I'm trying to say is that I think it's a nuanced conversation, and there's a mm. few different points of view that are valid and ultimately in my experience as a gay man the reason we're upset about gay people not getting gay roles <laughs> in movies I'm sorry but I'm just gonna rewind Piers Morgan's face and it is so hard to keep a straight face whilst watching this and look at Piers, looking at Piers Morgan trying not to laugh I'm gonna rewind it just now and there's a few different points of view that are valid and ultimately in my experience as a gay man the reason we're upset about gay people not getting he just wants to laugh so much it's hilarious it's because we're not getting straight roles as well and mm. until we are it's unfair that those roles are taken away from us so with in that respect what, what's that got to do with dwarf factors because they can't something... play and that's what i've been saying from the very beginning sorry for pausing it again i don't understand what his issue with gay actors etc etc has got anything to do with this current situation again if i'm a victim of one thing i'm a victim of everything they can't play well, regular I think, size parts. i think P peter dinklish's original point is that he would like to see more dwarves in films in general not just playing dwarves that in general what he said. literally i should a, a person of my stature should be able to go out for the same as a six foot five 200 pound human but it's it's just not that way, and I'm okay with that. In reality, I'm okay with that. It's understandable. To it doesn't me. make much sense. But so when it's these roles that are made for people of my stature. Yes, that's where I have the issue. You know what, Dylan? The movie, one of the great movies of all time, is called Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. If if dwarf actors in Hollywood are the man not shaking picked his head. to play those roles, I don't know what roles you're supposed to be playing. It's, it's unbelievably I have, uh, patronizing that they've done this under the be, banner of so-called progression. And it's not, again, like I said, these dwarves in that movie in, in, or in this, this uh, story aren't viewed poorly, I don't believe. No. They're all separate characters that mm. are actually heroes for this lady. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. The dwarves aren't even really portrayed as bad they're all there to protect her that's a good thing they're not portrayed as bad they're not portrayed as bad as uh, peter dinklage said uh you know a couple of years ago about dwarves living in caves they're good people they protect the woman snow white again i don't see the issue here it just seems like people are being progressive for the sake of being progressive making up issues that don't really exist and making up those issues then affect the people who should be playing those roles like dwarves yes and they take care and they Take this lady in. They saved so her. So viewed so well to society. They saved the woman. Now they're, they're hardworking. They're wealthy. They they are kind. They are generous-hearted. It's hard to think of a more positive and, and sort of goal, narrative about any people goal. at all. Well, let's just go back to the 1930s, Piers. I think you'd be happy. You there. know what, James? Black face would exist. No, no, that, no, sir, no it's, it's not, not black face, James. What what has that got to do with anything here? This is it, man. This is it. He knows he's in the wrong. He doesn't know what to say. He's been completely embarrassed and made to look like an idiot. So he goes, wait, hold on. Let's go back to 1930s, Piers. You like the idea of blackface? What has that got to do with? anything they just constantly make things up every single time they'll bring a new argument into the equation that doesn't exist will accuse you of something again that doesn't make sense because they really have nothing else to fall back on it's not blackface and what you're now doing than happy. because you know you've lost just being, you know you've lost, lost the argument no, there's no argument and you know you've been here. embarrassed you're, James, you're not embarrassed you're James, you are against just said an said argument that doesn't James, hold exist hold on hold on hold on guys we agree with each other please all right you know what you do agree with him now because you realize the futility let him speak i want to hear what he says and go oh you got to go back to 1930s no james when you if you agree with what I'm saying. You I agree with what you're saying. Pieces. I don't agree with anything say, that Piers. Yeah, here's saying. the thing, Dylan. Dylan, just to he be said, clear. He literally just said yeah, what I said, James. Dylan, just to be clear, he doesn't agree when I say it, but when you say it, he agrees. Because you're not and a that, dwarf. That right now, Neither I'm not a dwarf, no. But that right there is the hypocrisy of the woke brigade. Uh, Dylan, well, okay, okay, okay. So let me, let, let me just let say, Dylan, I've got to let go, unfortunately. Quickly, please. Pierce, quickly. Final word, Dylan. Pierce wrote, James, James, let me ask you this. So if a, if a, writer writes a piece on what I'm saying is it wrong of them 
because essentially that's the same as the words yeah. coming out of my mouth. What? Yeah. yeah, but you're not saying that it I might... am a woke hypocrite and Piers is, and that's what I disagree no, with. No, no, no. So he only disagrees with Piers because Piers calls him something, which is pretty much the truth, and that's just the case. You know, he'll disagree with Piers because, oh, it's Piers Morgan, and, you know, he's a bigger, but if Dylan Mosul says it and he disagrees with him, he looks really bad. But I'm absolutely not. Mm. I, I, so when I'm saying I agree with you, we've got, is, we've got to nothing let, to do with your We'll leave it there. Just to be clear, Dylan, he disagrees with what I say, but when you say exactly the same thing, he completely agrees <laughs> with you. So, and that so annoying. is James Barr right to <laughs> a T. Uh, Dylan, nonsense. fantastic having you on Piers Morgan Uncensored. You did a, such a brilliant job in highlighting why this is so ridiculous. Shame on Disney, and I hope you get another brilliant role very soon. I really do. Absolute well, legend. I, I hope so too, and I, I hope that uh, this really kind of resounds with how my how I feel. Yeah. And I don't speak for the whole dwarf culture no. and and community, but this is literally well, Piers how does. I feel. Piers Morgan speaks roles. for the entire Dylan, dwarf community. I, I've got to leave it there, Dylan. Speaks Thank for you, all of you. Well, no, that doesn't make sense because what you're trying to say, unfortunately, you don't realize this. And what others are trying to say is that you understand the dwarf community. You understand how they feel. So we're going to do something to protect them and make sure they don't get offended and aren't viewed in a bad way. So, yes, how you think, how you act and the beliefs of other people is trying to speak for a community as they always do. Thank so you, Dylan, for joining me. Uh, James, that's helpful, I think. thank you for joining me. Because You're so welcome. You came on and you beautifully highlighted the, the shocking hypocrisy, hypocrisy of, culture. of your culture. Yeah. Absolutely. I would be embarrassed if that was me, if I'm going to be honest with you. But ladies and gentlemen, the one thing to take away from this, this hilarious debate is if you're a dwarf, you shouldn't be playing dwarf characters like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs because that would be really offensive to you. So we're going to have... Uh, grown people, grown men and women, play those uh, parts instead because we don't want you to be offended. But in doing so, we're going to take those parts away from you. You know, it, it does make total sense and it just shows the absolute hypocrisy with everything we're facing today with things like woke Hollywood. It's all very hypocritical, complain about something that doesn't really exist whilst actually hurting, hindering the people that want those roles. It makes total sense. It really does, ladies and gentlemen losing my mind here but if you have enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like rating if you're new hit that big red subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so you never miss a video but until tomorrow it has been your boy jd have a great day stay safe and all you dwarfs out there don't worry you deserve all the roles that are meant for dwarf people i'm out peace